Even in the 21st century, there are massive questions that science cannot yet answer. Questions like why do women find Kim Jong-un so attractive, and why do all foreign languages sound the same? These are complete mysteries, but there are some equally mysterious locations. Places that are so strange science can't explain them. Here are 10 of such places. The Devil's Kettle Waterfall is in a magical, mythical place called Minnesota. The waterfall is unique, there are two sides to it. The water on the east side flows normally, we see exactly where it leads, but the water flowing on the west side leads into a pothole and seems to disappear. No one knows where this water flows, it's like it really does disappear. Multiple experiments have sought to find this out. Colored dye was poured into the water, but the dyed water was never found again. Traceable objects were dropped into water flowing into the kettle, but after disappearing into it were never found again. As of yet, there is no accepted scientific explanation. Some associate the kettle with the supernatural, believing the water is transported to a parallel universe, and that the kettle is some kind of gateway. Deep in Siberia is a rock formation completely unlike the area surrounding it. Scientists have only been aware of its existence since 1949, but local Siberians have known about the crater for much longer. To them it's known as a place of evil, that any living creature should avoid or risk dying from contact. To them that's why no tree grows on the crater despite surrounding it. They call it Fire Eagle Nest and avoid the general area. People who visit the crater often report feeling more drained of energy the closer they get. In 2005, the leader of an expedition to the crater died of a heart attack on reaching the area. Local Siberians saw this as confirmation of its evil. It's unknown what caused the crater. A meteorite was suggested until largely being ruled out by geologists. Researchers are stumped by how it came to be. They know it's only a few hundred years old, and the trees surrounding the crater show accelerated growth, just like those affected by the Chernobyl meltdown. Some use this to claim the crater was formed when a UFO landed here long ago, but still, no one knows for sure. The Bermuda Triangle is not our planet's only mysterious triangle. Another is the Devil's Sea, a triangle-shaped danger zone between Japan and the Philippines. All kinds of strange sea phenomena are common within the triangle. With unpredictable weather, the area is always dangerous at all times. It's aligned with the Bermuda Triangle, leading some to think they might be in some way connected. For centuries, ships have been known to disappear within the Devil's Sea. At one time, it was said an underwater dragon destroys ships that pass over it. Today, people wonder if magnetic anomalies could be behind the disappearances. After the Second World War, multiple vessels disappeared here. Before long, a Japanese government ship was sent to investigate the triangle, but it was soon lost. The ship was later rediscovered with the entire crew missing. Their fate is unknown. Known. The Devil's Sea has since been labelled a danger zone, with dozens entering and never returning. The Amazon rainforest, home to rare plants, endangered birds, and the children of Nazi war criminals who live like deranged monkey people. It's also home to a boiling river that kills anything to enter it. Enter the Peruvian Amazon and you may be told a strange legend by locals. It describes gold-obsessed Spanish explorers who entered the Amazon centuries ago. Of a large group, only a handful returned, telling tales of a deadly river that boiled from below. Until recently, the boiling river was thought nothing more than a legend, but we now know such a river exists. It's hot enough to kill any human at over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The water gives off steam as it flows through the Amazon. This deadly river is seen as sacred by locals, but it's unknown what makes the river so hot. Fairy circles are patches of grassland where no plant life exists, giving a clear circular appearance. The most famous fairy circles are in Namibia, specifically the Namib Desert where millions can be found. With so many, it might shock you that it's unknown what causes fairy circles. Multiple explanations have been put forward, all of which too boring for a video like this. None has been widely accepted, so as of yet the origin of these desert fairy circles is unknown. Local legends provide multiple answers, that they are footprints of the gods who walked the desert freely in ancient times, or that a dragon once terrorized the area. His poisonous breath left patches of ground forever uninhabitable. 
In the Norwegian wilderness is a valley known for light phenomena. All kinds of unexplained lights have been witnessed appearing in the sky here. The lights have been clearly observed and measured scientifically, but what causes the light is a complete mystery. Some split into smaller lights or move across the sky, causing people to believe they are UFOs. Crop circle-like symbols have been found in the valley after the appearance of lights. Again, it's unknown what causes these symbols in the snow. Some lights drift slowly for hours while others rapidly flash. The lights now appear less than 20 times per year, which is 50 times less frequent than it once was. It's also unknown why they are decreasing. Some claim a gateway to another universe exists above the valley, one that is slowly closing up. A small Indian village is known for having a ridiculous amount of twins born there. The town is home to just 2,000 families, but has produced over 200 pairs of twins. They get 45 twins per thousand births, which might not sound crazy, but Indians and other South Asians have the lowest rate of twins born of any region. It's most common amongst black people, but India has very low rates apart from this one village. That's what causes some to think the high twin rate may be due to external factors. Maybe something in the water there makes it more likely. In Russia's Baltic territory is a place known as Dancing Forest. The trees here are distorted, twisted into unique shapes. They were planted in the 1960s, but those who planted them were not expecting this. No one knows why the trees have grown into such unusual shapes, although some claim magic. They say long ago the area was home to a different forest, and this older forest was frequented by witches who used magic to make its trees dance. The effects of their magic remain and can be seen in the modern tree's deformation. Some climb through the rings in twisted trees, believing it will grant them one wish. There is a place in Mexico known as the Zone of Silence. Radio signals fail within the zone. It's a 50 kilometer patch of desert that's been considered eerie for decades. Some believe the lack of signal has something to do with the numerous meteorites that crashed in the area, two of which landed on the same ranch. In 1970, the US launched a test missile. Control of it was lost and the missile crashed in the same area. Local legend tells that a strange energy emitting from the ground pulls objects down from the sky. This would explain the strange tingling feeling so many reports within the zone of silence. NASA couldn't explain the missile test going off course. It was as if a powerful force pulled it towards the zone. Magnetic anomalies have been measured within the zone. But like the other mysteries of the zone of silence, science has no explanation. Mutated animals have often been found within the zone and animals behave strangely here. It's hard to know what reports from within the zone of silence are real and what are simple hallucinations. But there are so many strange tales from within it. The Roman Empire left behind many mysteries. One of the lesser known surrounds a temple in Lebanon. The Temple of Jupiter only partially stands today. Its foundation stones, three massive 800 stone blocks that fit together so tightly it's hard to place a needle between them. Archaeologists don't know how this was achieved. As the stones are so large, it's unknown how they were even transported, let alone fit together so tightly. But it gets stranger. The stones are actually bigger than they need to be for a temple complex like this. So that raises the question of why they were cut to this size, if not necessary. The stones also were not cut in the same way that Roman foundation stones usually were. It's a weird one. 